I'm so excited because we're about to get our first foster dog and I wanna make sure that we do everything right. So here's a couple things that I've researched and found out that we need to do. One, you gotta clear your schedule. You gotta make some time for this pup. Poor thing has come from a shelter. He's been in a crate. He's just been all out of sorts because his person had to change gears and can no longer care for him. And so that means we need to have a couple days off and just be calm and quiet and ready for him. The second thing that we need to do is we need to prep the house and make sure that we have everything that we need so that we can spend that quality time with them. So do you have a leash? Do you have food? Do you have treats? Do you have everything that you need so that you can spend some quality time with your pup? If not, try and do that before you bring the pup home. The third thing that you need to do is make sure that your house is as calm as possible. They say it takes about three to four days for a dog to really come back from being in just a really stressful uh, shelter environment. All the barking, all the ins and outs, all the uncertainty. So know that your dog's gonna be a little bit out of sorts. They're gonna need to have some quiet time. They're gonna need to build some trust with you. The fourth tip is to make sure that you have Check your house as if you're bringing home a toddler because that's in essence what you're doing. Do you have uh, things that are on the uh, desks and um, tables and things that your dog could get a hold of? Do you have a pair of glasses that you don't want to? Do you have uh, a rubber band that maybe you set down that could easily be swallowed? So go through every aspect of your house and make sure that you've just picked up and really prepared for the toddler that you're about to bring home. Another thing to think about is baby gates. Do you want your pup to have full access to your home? Probably not. A lot of times when you bring home a foster or a rescue dog, they're not potty trained. We hope that they are, but they're not. And so maybe they've been in the shelter system for a little while and it's taking them uh, out of their, their normal routine. So you're gonna wanna take your dog out every hour on the hour, praise them when they do their business. And if they don't, just go ahead and just let them understand that they're gonna have access to go outside so they don't make your carpet and your floors um, places that they're gonna go to the bathroom. Dogs really thrive with routine. So the next thing you wanna do is think about what that daily routine looks like. Try and feed your dogs at a consistent time. Try and make sure that you, again, have them go in and out of the house, give them that time to go outside, to understand that they need to do their business in a certain place, not in your house. And as much as possible, if you can have a routine so that they understand the comings and goings, you might wanna invite friends over, you might wanna have everybody meet your dog, but the first couple of days really are a time to have that calm, let them build that trust, get into a routine and understand what works and doesn't work in your household. So let's talk about that first night. The first night's gonna be a little bit scary, right? Imagine you were pulled from your home or maybe you've been in a shelter for a couple of weeks and you don't know what to expect. You don't know these strange people, you don't know these other dogs, you don't know what's going on. So you wanna spend a couple of minutes before you go to bed and really pet them, praise them, give them treats, about 10 minutes of, of just letting them know that they're in a good space. Some dogs are gonna be super shy, they might be hiding behind uh, the sofa, they might not want a lot to do with you. Give them that space, give them that time, they will come around, but anything that you... And now for the part I'm really excited about. We just found out that we're getting our first foster dog. His name's Gojo, he's a one-year-old um, mini Aussie, and he's just so freaking cute. So he comes home tomorrow, and we'll be able to apply all these things that I've been telling you about, and I hope you'll watch this journey to learn more. We are just super excited. So anyway, I hope you'll join, you'll subscribe, you'll watch this journey, and you'll help us find a forever home for Gojo. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you soon.